Everybody needs a lash curler. Curling the lashes is so important. It really opens up the eye, especially, you know, a lot of times when people's lashes tend to grow a little bit down or, um, you know, mascara sometimes can weigh the hair down a little bit so it'll, it'll fall a little bit, but it's so important to curl the lashes before. It really does just like fan up the lashes and open up the eye and it, it just looks beautiful, everybody. Everybody should be curling their lashes. To prevent over tweezing, what I like to do is I always like to draw a line that I know I don't want to go above or below. So on the top, I'll draw a line. On the bottom, I'll draw a line, even in the front, like a little line. So I will only remove the hairs, like the stray hairs that are outside that line. How to get a good brow shape for your face. It all depends. Everybody has a different face. Everybody has a different, you know, shape brow. I always like to keep them more on the natural side. So just kind of trim them a little bit take out a few of the stray hairs, but keep it as close to the natural shape as possible. Applying falsies on yourself is definitely tricky. Tips and tricks that I love are when you're doing the individual lashes, it's always best to you know make sure the glue is like nice and sticky. With individuals, I always like to get as close to the um, root of the lash as possible. You wanna make sure that they're trimmed if, you know, uh, lengthwise if it's too long. You know, the lashes just really makes it so much easier. It's really important to curl the lashes before mascara. You could definitely get a much more thorough curl. Also, sometimes when the mascara is on, it can give it a little bit more of a kink to look than an actual curl. So always curl the lashes before, then apply mascara, and then you can use the every lash tool after if you want need a little extra lift on the ends, or even after you put lashes on, you can use the every lash tool after, just to give it a little extra va va boom When tweezing the brows to make sure you don't, you know, snap the hair off, you always want to make sure that you get the tweezers as close to the root of the hair as possible. Tweezer and tweezers are so good because they're so nice and sharp. You can really get like so close to the skin and just pull without, you know, it's worrying about it snapping off. Um, you also want to pull in the direction of the hair growth instead of against. That can also cause um, the hair to break as well. To figure out what eye shape you are, um, you always want to kind of look at like the top of the lid. So an almond shape is going to be flatter and a little bit wider, and a round eye is going to look like more prominent and a little, you know, has more of like a, a round shape to it. I always like to give my brows a good cleanup without makeup on. Um, besides, you know, I'll do the, a little bit of pencil to make sure I don't tweeze anything that I, that I need there. I like to do it um, without makeup, but you know, if there are a few you see, sometimes you see those little baby ones once there's a little powder on the skin. So you can, you can, you can take a few out after makeup. I always like to start at the front and the top. So I always like to do like a line up there and then brush and soften it up. And then I like to do underneath and then brush and soften it. And then I'll kind of go into the brow and get a little powder, like, you know, in any holes or where you need it. I always curl like the whole lash first with nothing on, then do mascara, then put lashes on. And then I'll use that every lash curl over that just to kind of get like the ends or the very center, anywhere I want like more of a lift. Uh, the most important part about brow shaping or defining is to not overdo it. If you're not sure to take a hair out, if you're like, I don't know, should that one stay, should it go, just leave it. If you're not sure, don't touch it.